So my first question is, um, how has the land that you're on or um, what's currently known as Toronto changed during your lifetime? Well, uh, Toronto, when I, when I first got here back in uh, 1962, uh, there was probably less than a million people, maybe 900,000. And there was no great, uh, we didn't have GTA then, Greater Toronto. It was uh, uh, actually places like Scarborough and Mississauga were separate towns and, and villages, you know, that have been amalgamated into the GTA now. The, uh, but when I first got here, it was much smaller as a result. Mm -hmm. But that was back in 1962 when I arrived in Toronto. Yeah, so before 1962, where were you? I was in a, a variety of foster homes because I was taken as a child uh, from uh, and put into uh, white foster homes. There was um, a lot of scoops going on in the Indigenous community, whether people would go to residential school or into foster care or something, but any 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 place that, that was uh, was not uh, Indigenous, mm -hmm. no, no Indigenous child, if they could get them away from an Indigenous uh, culture, they did. Yeah. The younger, the better. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I remember learning about that actually quite recently, unfortunately. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't learn about it in high school. It wasn't until university that I started learning about um, indig um, residential schools and scoops. Um, did you find that during your time in foster care, predom like predominantly the other um, children um, were also Indigenous? Well, I uh, no, I was put in white foster homes. Okay. Never, never with an Indigenous uh, uh, child ever. No. Mm -hmm. they, wow. they kept us really separate. Yeah. Um, did you find that you had, yeah, that you had to like reconnect um, to your roots, to your family? Well, sure, family? sure, absolutely. Because uh, when you're brought up in a foreign culture, uh, not that's not your own, uh, you, it takes a long time to, uh, to connect it, because it's a big change. Uh, to uh, try to find and remember uh, uh, the uh, indigenous culture was considered to be um, uh, savage and uh, and pagan and the churches all said that we were worshiping the devil and stuff like that with our our indigenous uh, culture um, they still do, but they don't advertise it as much. Mm -hmm. They still think that anything indigenous comes from, from, uh, it's not Christian, it's from the devil. Yeah. Yeah. Do you find, or, um, when do you think that transition really happened that you, you were reconnecting or like what age do you think? Um, how old was that? Yeah. I was 16. 16? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what did that look like for you? Well, it was like uh, getting out of jail and having some freedom mm -hmm. from the white world, which, yeah. is, which is brutal and pretty horrible place to live. Mm -hmm. 